I gotta say, I watched the film this morning and I loved it. Uh, I thought it was such a great uh, entry into the Western genre. Uh, what about the original book really spoke to you though to want to adapt it for the screen? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, Western genre, you know, I don't have a problem with it being put in that. I, I just don't personally like, I'm not really obsessed with Westerns. There are like a, a few that I like have liked, but generally I'm not a huge fan because I just feel like they, it's too simplified. It's too, you know, good guy, bad guy, you know, let's go get Rob this and, and, you know, kill the bad guy. You know, I don't know something about it. I just never quite spoke to me. And I never really, when I read the book, I never really thought, Oh, this is a Western. And this is, you know, I got to make a Western. It's more like, I just loved it. You know, it's based in the 1870s uh, in the wilderness. And that's what I like, you know, was attracted to the story and, and the themes and, and the power, the spiritual power of this, of this, you know, story um, about, you know, first of all, a young kid that, that it, like all of us, in my opinion, who sort of is searching and going, you know, yearning for an adventure, go, you know, searching for meaning and purpose. We all do, do at certain points in our life, trying to understand the world, you know, um, and going out and trying to put himself in, 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 in a situation where he could learn about himself and about life. And that's very relatable to me. Secondly, you know, the, the, the Miller character, this guy that sort of has been waiting for 10 years, he wants to do something great. He wants to, you know, you, you know, leave a, leave a mark. He's got ambition, you know, is, is also relatable to me because, well, it's, I, I would think it'd be relatable to anyone who wants to achieve anything, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, this guy has, like the Michael Jordan level of, of, of competitiveness and kind of, you know, desire. And, and when, when that kind of ambition is left unchecked, it can become very, very dangerous, you know? And that's something that's very, to me, very relatable. Um, it's also a story that has a lot of environmental commentary, which I'm, a you know, really into, but I'm not like, it's just... <laughs> how can you not living on this planet and all the things that are happening, you know, it's hard not to with everything. I mean, I don't need to tell you that. So, and then I just feel like it's, it's, it's a story about life, you know, what happens in life when we grow up and when we're faced with reality. Okay. Right. We, not one of us can watch this movie and not relate to that that feeling of sort of being a little bit romantic about life and then seeing you know the reality the harsh reality of human nature of nature and, and like <laughs> you know having to move move ahead even though there are a lot of dark stuff you know yeah I don't, but i don't really look when i read the book i wasn't like wow this is like I didn't feel totally like this is like just this depressing, dark movie. I just, I was, comp I thought it was compelling, you know? So I didn't, I didn't like, oh, yo, I'm going to be dragged into the depths of the darkness. And it's so, oh, I love dark. It's just, I just was compelled by the, the characters and that sort of, you know, magnetism of it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I felt that uh, throughout the whole film. Uh, and with talking about Miller then, I mean, what was it like looking for the perfect person to bring him to life? Obviously, Nick Cage is a incredible actor, but I mean, did you always have him in mind when you well, were? Well, I did meet when I read because I worked with Nick Cage on Bad Lieutenant. Uh, you know, I pro produced that, and and that's how I met Nick. And I he was the first guy that I met with after I wrote the script. But this was like, you know, eight or so years ago, and I even sort of. As I was casting, it took so long to get made that as we were casting in the the, the the final iteration, his name came up and I almost forgot that I had met him. You know, it was that long. And I was like, yeah, I think I met Nick Cage. Yes, he, he's the perfect guy, you know, and and, and that he, he has that kind of, as an actor, that kind of intensity, you know, the, 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 the he, he's single folk. He, 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 
he's got guts, you know, and he, he he's got that uh, uh, intimidation factor. He's like the Michael Jordan of acting in certain ways. Like, you know what I'm saying? That intensity and creativity um, yeah. that I thought would be just so great. And the other thing I, I just love about Nick is that he, he always does the unexpected. And, and, you know, I, I don't really, the, the actors that I respect are doing things that I was like, wow, like that was such a cool creative choice. And that was interesting. I want interesting people, you know, and that's also why I chose Fred Hetchinger. He's a young actor that's doing, you know, makes interesting choices. I don't want the guy that's, you know, not taking risks, you know? And cause to me, when I'm watching a film, I get bored if they're just, doing the expected behavior you know it has to fit within the story but you know so that's yeah. yeah i thought nick in that case uh or in that sense did great to sort of rein in what we generally know of his you know large personality and and was far more subtle than normal so i i, I agree that he took a risk or shouldn't say took a risk but that he he did something different i like that um what was it then like i mean the it was the shoot as grueling as uh the and also by the way nick cage you know we didn't have yeah so it related to this because we had only 19 days to shoot this very very epic movie and challenging movie, the weather, the animals, the buffalo herd, the locations. It was an impossible thing. Um, you know, guys like Nick Cage are so professional that we don't have, we, we have like three takes maximum for each shot, right? So he comes in, he knows every, the line, and he also has like crazy interesting ideas, but he just, he's so dialed in and focused again, like Michael Jordan, that he just like crushes it every time. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you can't make a movie in 19 days without incredible precision. Yeah. I, I can only imagine with that amount of time. Um, and so what was it then like scouting uh, locations for this film? Because I mean, every single location felt truly authentic. And I know you have a note at the end of where it was filmed, but what was it like scouting yeah. the individual areas? Yeah, it was, it, it was a lot of fun and like it was almost yeah i mean like glacier national park in, in montana is like the most beautiful place you know and it was there's sacred places that we we with the blackfeet uh tribe it, their whole land is sacred they don't really like necessarily invite outsiders in there so the fact that we, we were able to scout with them and look at look, all, all these amazing locations mountains prairies all the anything you could think of uh, was was tremendous, but we also had to make sure that our locations weren't way too far apart, you know, where you're spending days traveling. But it it was it was amazing. That's part of the story is 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 these guys going on kind of this epic long journey from Kansas to Colorado mountains, you know. So that was a lot of fun, and and it's a fun part of the process, you know. Yeah, I can only imagine. It's uh, almost like a free vacation in a sense. Okay. <laughs> okay yeah no we, we'll talk more i guess she's telling me but yeah like let, let's spend you know another few minutes or whatever do, 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 yeah i'm happy to i'm happy to. yeah I've, uh i just had like two more questions for you yeah sure okay. okay great um so what was it like developing the look of this film because like we've talked about there's a really epic feel to it so what was it like finding the look of the film that's a good question i mean i i would basically you know it's hard to provide references without like going to other movies or photography. So I would, I would sort of, you know, reference other movies visually with the director of photography. You know, we, a lot of the planning process, you know, we, we, we shot listed most of the movie with the DP and I swear to God, not a single thing that we planned uh, actually happened because again, 19 days. So we had to do a lot of improvisation and we had to, find the soul of every scene in the most efficient way, you know, uh, and every, so, so there was a lot of thinking on the fly and a lot of ch like literally rewriting and changing things on the fly because of, you know, the schedule, you know, which, which is uh, again, a nod to everybody involved to be like jazz musicians, you know, and, and continuously changing, but also like thinking, 
I had to think big picture every second, you know, well, how is this affecting the story? And what, you know, what are we losing or gaining or this or that? So as we're going, you know, and so anyways, the look, I like to stay in close to the characters, you know, and, and kind of, you know, have this distinct mood and, and staying in close. And, and, and that was sort of a concentration of mine and, and, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm not the kind of guy that likes to like, you know, do beautiful shots just for the sake of, of doing sort of beautiful shots. It has to, it's always, always about the soul. What am I trying to say in this moment or scene or whatever? And you just find it, you find the right shot, you know, for that. Well, I think every shot was executed uh, beautifully in that sense then. Um, but with that said, then, uh, given that you had such a short shoot, what would you say was the most challenging sequence uh, for you to put together? I say this in full truth, like everything was difficult. I, I'm sorry to say, but it was just, it was survival to shoot this movie in, in that amount of time. And, 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 and so, so to me, just thinking about if I look through the movie and, and think about every scene, I'm like, wow. Oh God. Oh, that was so, Oh my God. Oh, you know, <laughs> so you know, whether it's like few takes or, you know, things that were happening. I mean, it, it, it was just, you know, cause everyone's gotta be co cohesive. All the, all the crew members, the makeup, hair, this, that, I mean, it might've been, you know, the acting, you know, there's always pressures, big pressures, you know, imagine, think, think of like, you know, the Revenant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was, that movie was, you know, almost $200 million from what I heard. It was shot for six months. You know, and that's considered the hardest movie that was ever made or something. That's the way that they, they marketed it. You know, this was, you know, I don't know, like a, like a tiny fraction of that with 19 days. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was it was tough. So if that movie was the hardest, I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad then that it came together the way it did for you guys, because uh, like I said, I love the film. I think it's a really, it's got such great acting uh, themes, all that good stuff. And I think people who give it a shot are going to really like it. So thank you so much for taking the time to chat yeah, you uh, too. In, your, in the busy day. I greatly appreciate it. <laughs>